Hi, how are you? Hi, all right. Good. Oh, you got my wife's uh, Audi A4 here. What's the last name? It's Stevens, Stevens Hi, I'm Michelle. Oh, you're Michelle. Yeah, you're the one dealing with it. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Okay. I'm right. sorry about the car. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. So can you tell me more? Me? Yeah. Can you tell okay. me more about what the problem yeah. is? Yeah. Because okay. I got a kind of really garbled yeah, uh, description well, from my wife. It's hard enough for her to understand. <laughs> for her to have to explain it to you, I'm sure that was tough for her. Yeah. Okay. So when when she was driving the vehicle and you felt the shake, what happened is the your car has a timing chain, uh -huh. not a timing belt. Right. So it jumped time or it got uh -huh. out of time, and then of course it's a interference engine yeah. so there's not a lot of our older cars have belts timing belts yeah. yours has timing chain timing chain guides so i'm not exactly sure if it was a guide or just the whole timing just got off but when it got off of course the car was still moving so it bent the valves mm. which are in the top part of the motor these yeah are, these are is it just here. the valves no mm. see that's what we did that's what i told her that for certain, we knew it needed a head yeah. after the initial inspection of the vehicle, um, and then he, the technician, had put a note on there that possible may need an engine by the time you pull the head off and you can see the pistons. Yeah. So I explained all that to Lana. So she said, you know, continue with the diagnosis, pull the head off, yeah. because if anything, we could have just put put it back together with a good head. Yeah. But when we got in there, there's impact to the to the pistons. Right. So the valves hit the pistons. Yeah. Um, so therefore, it's damaged. Yeah. I did a bit of googling. It sounds like this is a pretty common problem on this well, engine. Well, you know, I know you guys have had. Um, you had the oil consumption. Yeah, issue. we had the oil consumption issue. Yeah. On the, the 2009s, in my personal opinion, of what I've seen, um, do you have consumption issues? And this is probably. And three years this is probably the second or third one that I've seen jump time mm. and they're completely not related to each other you would think they were because that's it's really a big deal the pistons um, replacements are really big deal you yeah. know yeah um, and I always assume too that it could have been related to the oil consumption but it's yeah not. it's a separate issue I can see it's a um, separate issue yeah but it sounds like it's a not unusual issue in fact googling around it seems it's a fairly common issue yeah, it sounds it's like there's, there's a company that actually sells a third-party replacement for the timing chain tensioner because of the known failure in the Audi one. Yeah, I haven't done the I haven't done the, the Google searches, so I'm not, yeah. I'm not aware of what people are talking about or what's going on yeah. or what they're doing for the the problem. Um, the first well, I will I tell you that I am ahead. getting my lawyer involved, but it's not with you. It's obviously sure. with Audi. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a common problem that's known about within the industry and within dealers like yourselves. So there's a, um, for certain, I know, and it's already been, it's already on the books. The class action. There's class action for the oil consumption. I know about the Is class action class for the. Action no, I looked into it. I know about the class action for the oil consumption. Yeah. I actually got contacted by the lawyers, but I didn't join the class action because you guys sorted it out pretty well. So I wasn't unhappy with that. I checked into it and I can't. You know, Check it out. I've Googled. Sure, and like, sure. I haven't found, I haven't found I haven't, anything about a class action on the, on the timing chain. I have to tell you the, the timing chain issues, um, since I haven't experienced a lot of them. I mean, two or three are yeah. really isolated yeah. you know, for me personally to yeah. deal with. And um, I can tell you that the cars have all had a little bit higher mileage on them. Audi's, mm. Audi's like, they're not participating. They're not assisting. Um, I mean, if it's over a question. certain mileage or something. I think yeah. so. They, yeah. you know, and what they do is they'll offer like some trade assistance yeah. for you. Um, I've seen them do that. Mm. But no, I totally hear you. Mm. I mean, it's such a shame mm. <laughs> for that car. Yeah. You, know, yeah, you guys yeah. take, you know, you take really good care of it. And there's nothing that could have prevented it, you know? Yeah. There's yeah, nothing. Yeah. There's nothing prevented Do you don't think it could be like a regular adjustment and checking of the timing chain tensioner could do yeah. it help? Uh, no. no. Not in, no. Every time it's just a timing thing and it's yeah. just, it's, it's catastrophic. It just depends how fast the car's going yeah. when it happens. I did find when I was Googling around that there was a class action lawsuit on the previous timing belt and they settled Volkswagen Audi on settled the on the 1.8 there was this class action but I couldn't find anything yeah, on the new was, yeah, timing long, chain one yeah. long time ago what yeah. they you know and, and that one what they did is they they added a interval to the 40 and 80,000 mile maintenance to do an inspection of the timing belt hmm. 
Um, so cars that had already passed those maintenances and had those done, they did an inspection for free. Hmm. Yes. And then all the we they would you know stamp it as it's been inspected. So if something happened later, they didn't help them with anything because we basically recommended a timing belt on almost all those cars, and then they had to pay for it anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, but. Oh. Uh, great. Anyway, can I get some this stuff is, out of the car? I want to just put Randy's face. Um, or, Hi, are you Mr. Randy. Stevens? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Stevens. I have. Him and his wife's a bond here, um, and it's got like 96-ish thousand miles. Yeah. It jumped time. Uh, needs a motor. So he's here to get some things out of it, and we're just chit-chatting. And you may hear his name again, so I just wanted you to meet him and put a name to the face. Okay. It's going to come down all the way. Oh. I'm already in contact all the way with Audi in Germany. Oh, it's wow. coming down that way to you towards yeah, you. Yeah, he said he's just read a lot of stuff online about it. I mean, I've read stuff online, yeah. But he's got an 09 and I got the owner. Audi AG Germany involved, Audi marketing involved. We're going to work down the chain. Okay. But yeah. not, and nothing, nothing against that Roger yeah. Beasley Audi because no, 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 I know. It, it's it's not your fault. I understand that it's it's a manufacturer, not you guys. So. Yeah, and I know that you will probably have to talk to Randy at some point. So yes. here you go. You know each other now. And <laughs> right. When you get that phone call. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice to meet you. All right. Let me um, yeah, have a good four. Uh, Someone's gonna look at a house. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, oh maybe nasty. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, let me find your keys real quick. I know exactly yeah. where the vehicle is, but I need okay. to locate your keys. Okay. I'll be right back. Do you want a coffee or water? I wouldn't mind a coffee, please. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you. Let me get you yeah. on that, and then I'll go find the key and come back. Yeah. Right. Right. Thanks. <laughs> is Lana with you? No, she's not. No. She's such a it's got the it's got the baby. She you know she got a six-month-old baby now, right? Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, last time I saw her, she was pregnant. Um, help yourself. Yeah. Okay. And thanks. I'll be back. All right. Thanks.